Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see one of the interview scenario based question that was asked recently and this was shared by our subscriber. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the question that you know the subscriber wanted uh, or asked was you know showing sales for the last three months selected by the user so user will randomly select any date from the parameter and from that parameter based on that we need to show three months of sales okay so that was the requirement so uh we can do it using parameter approach and again in this there are two ways we can do it so we are going to see two ways so first thing i'm trying to create a parameter here and i'm just writing it as a select date okay and i'm choosing date type here and just because I want to limit it with respect to our sample superstore date data, I'm going to make it range here and add values from order date. Now minimum and maximum my values are getting in sync with our order date values. Click OK. Okay, now if I click on this show parameter, we'll get that particular date. I want this to be type in. Now, if you see maximum 22 we have, that's why it is ending on the last day of that particular thing, even though today's date is somewhere around 12 to 2024. Okay, so that is a different thing. Now, I'm just building my view here to show you the result and maybe something of this sort I want to do. Now, for each year we want, we have month. First method is you can create a filter that you can use it on view. So I'm writing it as, uh, last and month of sales okay and we can simply write here as date diff function we can use and because we do we want the last three months i am taking month as my date part here okay from my order date and from our selected date okay so if you need last three months from a today then you will use instead of select date you will be using your today function but because we want to make that as dynamic and we want to change it according to what a user is selecting we are going to give parameter date here like based on what he is selecting you will get that okay i want this in zero one two okay last three months okay click on apply now this will create a boolean value true or false so you can take this and drop it on filter shelf you can select a true one apply okay it is giving you december november and october last three months and when you drop it on view it is giving us sales for this thing but assume you don't want to do it this way you want a total sales value for the last three months then that way also we can do it you simply need to edit our calculation here this time what i'm doing is i'm trying to write something like this if my date difference in between these dates then then give me sales for that otherwise it is a zero for me and i am ending it simple okay so you can do an aggregate on top of that or you want to do it at a view level up to view but i'm trying to write it within this and close it click on apply okay now simply if i remove this you are getting sales for last three n months here that's it okay so this way we can solve the values or solve the issue here okay so up to you whether you can do it in two ways see how your view is in real time and if you want it at a filter level you can do that as well or if you want at an aggregate level and you want to show it as a kpi that also you can do it here okay i hope this video has helped you if it does don't forget to like share and you know, do not forget to give a comment see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day